Here at 51 Park Row in watercolor, the home is currently listed at 2.995 and the seller wants the home sold by year end. Uh, the home will gross $240,000 in rental income, it will net a little bit over $155,000 in rental income. Uh, very good uh, luxury property investment. Um, probably a little bit of room for negotiation. Um, take a peek at this house. All right, 51 Park Row. 51 Park Row. Coming in the front door. And the bottom level has two guest bedrooms, two guest suites, really. With very large baths. Looking toward town center. Second guest suite. Like a large bath. And this one has a shower. And also on the first floor is somewhat of a little mud room nook at the back door off of the driveway and the laundry room. And then proceeding up the stairs to the second level where the main living is. Okay, now arriving on the main living on the second level with French doors. French doors on the full west side of the home, overlooking the preserve and also the gulf front. Large, large open space, open living area, kitchen, dining, and living on the main second level. Tons of light coming in, exquisitely decorated. And another large guest suite on the second level. Really nicely done. And with the dormered. Finishes are just spectacular in this home. And coming out of the French doors off of the second level, main level, onto the deck that runs the full length of the house. Nice deep decks, great for entertaining. And outdoor dining overlooks the protected preserve. There'll never be anything built over this preserve. And then looks toward the Gulf front. Tiny, just peekaboo views of the Gulf looking south here. So you're looking west over the preserve. Looking toward the lake here, you do have a view of the lake. Of course, through the trees, but you, you can see that the lake is there, Western Lake. And then looking south. You've got your small golf view from the second level. But very, very private here off of this deck. Tons of light, tons of doors and windows. Of course, in this home, and it's just spectacularly finished. And the seller wants the home sold by the year end, so there is some negotiating room. Incredible kitchen with oversized island. Prayer marble, Viking and Sub Zero appliances, Thermador stove top. You do have a butler's pantry as well. Hard to walk in, wraps around back there. Really nice railing and steps up. There's a small guest bath here. And then leading up to the third floor master. 
I'm coming up to the third floor master. If you go off to the right, we've got some built-in bunks. Really ideal for grandkids to sleep in. Or kids, for sure. Do have a actually a full bath here for the bunk room, which is nice. So you don't have to share with the master. But this can function almost as a bedroom, but more ideal, of course, for little ones with the built-in bunks. Really fun. And then proceeding on to the master suite on the third level. Very large master suite, lots of light, and then open to a master sitting area as well. All open to a deck that extends the length of the house as well. Great built-in closets here that are off of the sitting area of the master suite. Really nice size, oversized sitting area. Master suite. And master bath. Really nice appointments. Walk-in shower. Soaking tub. Lots of and mirroring the deck on the second level is the third deck that extends the length of the house on the third floor coming off of the master. Not quite the depth, but the same length. And offering you a little bit better golf views, of course, from this level. You can look off looking south off of the deck. You can see our golf. And from the master deck, looking west, 